is a special virtual presentation of A Joyful Night, brought to you by Governor Jim Justice and First Lady Kathy Justice. Good evening, everybody. My name is Randall Reed Smith, and I sit on the Governor's Cabinet as his curator for the West Virginia Department of Arts, Culture, and History. Every year, as we get closer to the holiday season, there are so many wonderful events across the Capitol Complex. The First Lady Artistry, the First Lady Student Ornament Contest, the debut of the First Lady's Ornament, and Joyful Night. I'm so excited about Joyful Night, when the Governor and the First Lady light the official state Christmas tree. For me, it's the start of the holiday season. This year, the tree has been donated by Navy veteran Raymond B. Dowdy and his wife Melinda, from Tornado, West Virginia. Mr. Dowdy has given the tree in honor of all veterans across our state. During this holiday season, we hope that you will visit the beautiful trees and decorations located around the Capitol Complex. The tree at the Greenbrier Washington Street entrance to the Capitol Complex, donated by the West Virginia Christmas Tree Growers Association from Al and Louise Tolliver, owners of Crickner Tree Farm in Dane East. Tonight, we are bringing you Joyful Night virtually, and we are starting right here at the Governor's Mansion. Are you getting as excited as I am? So let's get started, and let's go and see the Governor and First Lady. I'm gonna put my mask on. Are you ready? Here we go. Hi, Governor. Hi, First Lady. Thank you, Randall, and welcome to our home. Kathy and I are with you at this time of year. We love your outfit. And absolutely what a treasure, treasure Randall Reed Smith is to this state. But what an incredible time of year it is. It's Christmas. It's Christmas. At Christmas, we have so much to be thankful for. You know, a lot of people in our state are really hurting. This COVID situation has been really tough to deal with. You know, day after day, I've been in front of you and had to read name after name after name you know, without really disclosing names, but people, people in counties, people that we've lost across this state. So especially at this time of year, I ask that you will really keep all those in your prayers and thoughts. We'll get through this. We're an incredible state with resilient people beyond belief. And this time of year is so special, so special to remember all of our blessings, the blessings from the good Lord above that have given us every single thing we have. Now, with all that, I would just say just this. I'm so thankful for so many things. I'm thankful for our family. I'm thankful for this incredible state 
that's worked really, really hard and is really on the move now. I'm, I'm very thankful for our mansion here and the ability for Kathy and I to be with you here today. So in every way I can tell you, you know, just take time. Take time to, thank, to be thankful for all your blessings. Take time to remember all those in prayer that we've lost. Thank time to be absolutely prayerful for all of their loved ones. And thank time, take time to know that we're going to get through this. You can mark it down. West Virginia, we're going to get through this, and we're going to come out of this bigger and better and more proud than we've ever been before. The world sees us right now, and the world sees how we're doing. And absolutely, they're envy of West Virginia in every way. And they always should have been, because we know just how great West Virginia is. And as I leave you, you already know this, but we have an incredible program that we're going to share with you tonight, virtually, you know, and we hope you really, really enjoy but we hate like crazy we can't be together. We all hate that. But this will be the second best thing to that and everything. And we know that you'll just love it and you'll really, really enjoy it. Again, it's authored all by our superstar, Randall Reed Smith. What an incredible talent and everything. And you'll, I know you'll love this. So from Kathy and I, again, God bless and Merry Christmas. Ladies and gentlemen, please make welcome your nine-time consecutive and current state marching band champion as they bring to us their Christmas ensemble and their majorettes, the best band in the land, the Cabell Midland High School Marching Knights. Our national anthem, sung by Trooper C. E. Smith of the West Virginia State Police Morgantown Detachment, immediately followed by the Pledge of Allegiance by our very own Major General James A. Hoyer, the Adjutant General of the West Virginia Air and Army National Guard. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light? what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner get wet? O'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Ladies and gentlemen, Please welcome the senior pastor of the Grace Bible Church in Charleston, West Virginia, the Reverend Dr. Matthew J. Watts. Let's bow for prayer. Eternal God, our Father, we thank you for this another glorious day you've blessed us to see. We thank you for this 2020 Advent season. We pray your riches blessed upon this great nation, our president, our president-elect, the Congress, those who serve us in the military on foreign theaters, Bless their watch with them, bless their families. We pray a special blessing for those who are in hospitals, nursing home, 
and care facilities, while essential workers who are jeopardizing their health to keep us safe. We pray, Lord, you put a hedge of protection around all of them. We pray that you would give us the wisdom to carry ourselves in a way that will protect ourselves and protect our fellow citizens. We invoke your presence upon this Christmas celebration, and maybe it be a blessing to all the West Virginians who are able to view it. In Christ's name, we pray and give thanks. Amen. Again, Merry Christmas to you all. God bless you. God bless the great state of West Virginia, and God bless these United States of America. You be blessed. Governor, Madam First Lady, it's that time. We're getting ready to light the tree. You know, each year at the Capitol, some years we have more than one tree decorated, but this year we have one incredibly beautiful tree. You know, and we'll be, we'll be lighting the tree in just one second. But absolutely, that tree is donated to us from Raymond and Melinda Dowdy, and they're in Tornado. The tree was planted in 2003. It's a spruce tree that's now 30 feet tall, or it's just, it just ended. It's now with us at 30 feet tall. Raymond was in the United States Navy, and the tree that has been donated, he wants it done in honor of all of our veterans. And we surely, surely want to recognize just how important all these great people have been to all of us in every, every year. You know, our vets really, are, I've always said, they ask so little and they've given so much. We thank each and every one of them. And again, we thank Melinda and Rand, Raymond, you know, for all that they've done. And, and absolutely the growing and nurturing of this incredible tree. So tonight, for Randall, for Kathy, and for myself, we're going to go on a countdown, and I guess we're going to do it, you know, is, are we going to do it together? Okay, so I'm going to start, Kathy. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Woohoo! Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Hi everyone, welcome to the Culture Center. As you can see, we are decorated for Christmas in the Great Hall. This is my favorite time to be in the Culture Center when I'm here all alone and I get to take in all of this Christmas all by myself. I really admire the First Lady Student Initiatives, especially Communities in School. This is a wonderful mentorship program where we mentor students across the state and we also prepare them for lives after graduation. We are very honored to be able to house two of the trees for the First Lady here at the Culture Center. The Artist Tree, which is a wonderful opportunity for our young, budding West Virginia artists, sprinkled in with a little bit of our more seasoned artists across the state. And the big one is the Student Ornament Tree, which is a great competition from all over the state. And we have different classes that present different ornaments. So let's hurry over to the governor's mansion and find out from the first lady who won. Come on, let's go. Thank you, Randall, for allowing me to introduce to you the student ornament contest winners this year. You're really going to love them. In the pre-K to second grade division, the first grade class of Mrs. Amy Reinhardt of Johnsonville Elementary School. Very, very nice job. Congratulations to all the students and Mrs. Reinhardt for producing this. 
in the third grade to fifth grade category, the third grade class of Mrs. Brittany Clagan from Lewisburg Elementary School. Congratulations, what a nice job this third grade class did. In the sixth to eighth grade category, the winner is Carson No, a sixth grade pupil in the class of teacher Scarlett Moore at Birch High School. Great job, Carson. And in the nine through 12th grade category, Miss Isabel Atkins in the Ceramic One class of teacher Leslie Smith at Huntington High School. This ornament is beautiful. Congratulations to both Isabel and to her teacher, Mrs. Smith. We have done something very special with the artist tree this year. You're really going to love it. This has been such a challenging year for all of us, Randall. When I chose the theme for this year's artist tree, I did not need to think twice about honoring health care workers. They are definitely the heroes of 2020. So many people responded and I'm thrilled to show you just a few of the examples we received. I cannot be prouder of our artist tree this year and of the people who participated, but morally important of the people they honored. Back to you, Randall. Madam First Lady, we've had all this wonderful contest for students and I have the perfect performance for you now. Please welcome from Huntington, West Virginia, Mr. Carter Miller. Madam First Lady, you and the Governor continue each year a joyful night to recognize our armed forces, our veterans, our first responders, and our Gold Star families. This year, you added a group who tirelessly work to protect us and care for us during this pandemic with the COVID, and that are our healthcare workers. 2020, with the pandemic, has certainly brought a lot of challenges and Joyful Night has been no exception. But you had this wonderful idea that since we couldn't put the trees in the Capitol, which has been closed to the public, we made trees outside to honor these wonderful groups. And Randall, these four honor trees are very special. Since we weren't able to display these trees in the Capitol for people to see, we decided to build outdoor trees. We still wanted to honor West Virginia veterans, first responders, and Gold Star mothers. But this year we added a fourth tree to honor our health care workers. I'd like to encourage everyone to walk or drive by the front of the mansion and see the trees. We can't honor these devoted citizens enough. Randall, take it away. Governor, First Lady, we've got a special performance for you. It's our favorite officer from the Division of Natural Resources, Rocky Hebb and his beautiful wife, Nina, accompanied by Mr. Greg Thompson from the Gandhi Dancer in Elkins, West Virginia. Come on, man. Sleigh bells ring, are you listening? In the lane, snow is glistening. A beautiful sight, we're happy tonight. Walking in.
Madam First Lady, it's always a pleasure and a blessing for me when I get to tag along with you and your staff when you go to visit your communities and schools counties. Communities and schools has been a game changer for education in our state. I have seen this firsthand. The stories of success just touch the heart. This dropout prevention program has seen wonderful results these past few years in West Virginia. I know how much this program means to you. The smiles, hope, and caring you have brought to almost 50,000 students through the state are so heartwarming. Madam First Lady, would you tell us about the Communities and Schools program and would you also talk to us about the Communities and Schools trees? Thank you, Randall. This is an ornament made by a Communities and Schools student in Raleigh County. We have many more of these from every county that we would love you to come and see. These trees are very special to me, Randall, as Communities and Schools is my primary initiative. We have grown the program from three counties in 2017 to 23 counties this year. I'm very proud of our student success stories, and believe me, there are some great ones. On each tree, we have ornaments made by students from our various communities and schools counties. It's a great way to honor the hard work of our students have done and to show them how very proud we are of each and every one of them. Ladies and gentlemen, Please make welcome from Berkeley County in the Eastern Panhandle from Musselman High School, the Jazz Combo Exit 5. Governor, Madam First Lady, now comes my favorite part of Joyful Night, the reading of Twas the Night Before Christmas. I look forward to this reading every year. One only must sit, watch, and listen to see the love, compassion, and hope you have for West Virginia and our children. Your strong commitment to education in our state is constant. Your love for our arts and artists shine like the lights on the state Christmas tree and the pride you have for our history, our heritage, and our culture is truly second to none. As we celebrate Christmas with our loved ones this year, thank you for everything you both do for our beautiful state and her people. You never stop, wor you never stop working to make all of our lives safer and better. Merry Christmas to you both. Randall, thank you again. And what a wonderful evening that all are having. Kathy and I are going to read The Night Before Christmas. Here we go. Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas 
soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled our brains for a long winter nap. When out of the lawn there rose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what the matter. Away to the window I saw like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to the objects below. When what to my wondering eyes did appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver, so lively and quick, I knew in a moment he must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his cursors they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer, now Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the coursers they flew with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled. His dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke, it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face, and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and he filled all the stockings and then turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod at the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, ere he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Well, as we conclude tonight, we hope and pray that each and every one of you, that we brought a little bit of a smile to your face at this incredible time of year, Christmas. You know, we had to do this virtually and really and truly, we, we hate like crazy, we couldn't really be with all of you. But with the great, great help of Randall Reed Smith and the First Lady Kathy and everyone that's participating, again, we, uh, we can never possibly ask you enough to think of all of those that are less fortunate, those that are really hurting. This time of year has been really, really tough for lots and lots of people within our state. We're going to get through this. I know it with all in me. And as we do that, the only way we're going to get through it 
is the blessings, the blessings that the good Lord has given us in every way. A birthday, a birthday right now at this Christmas. An absolute birthday that changed the entire world over and over. Again, God bless each and every one of you. And for Kathy and I and our entire family, there's no way we could possibly do anything other than wish you the merriest of all Christmases. Thank <laughs> you.